good evening uh, it's uh, nice to see each and everyone so i would like to congratulate the uh, new council uh, covid 19 has taken away so many privileges but at the same time it is a year of innovation and i am glad our students have created this opportunity where we can interact with each other wish you a good session interactive session where we can learn from each other thank you uh, it's a very different feeling of meeting virtually um, we were with the council you know we were trying to plan out the program for the coming year so then uh, i gave a suggestion why can't we try something virtual you know and uh, so one first thing that came to our mind was uh, you know how people are spending their time during this uh, pandemic and uh, so the council took up the uh, idea so uh, you know we thought let it be a time of interaction and sharing and uh, encouragement so i congratulate the council uh, for this uh, initiative and uh, i hand over to them thank you so much sir our first speaker tonight is uh, dr philip alexander i would like to invite uh, dr abhilasha ma'am our vice principal to introduce the speaker to us good evening everyone it's my honor to introduce dr philip alexander to all of you he has done his um, general surgery training in cmc ludhiana and he's specialized in uh, gastroenterology um, surgery from sydney australia at present he is the medical superintendent of the lady wellington hospital in manali and um, i am very um, honored and prou- proudly i am saying this because he's also my foster dad so i welcome you sir thank you <laughs> thank you so much abhilash it's a honor and privilege the joy i am very much a cmc ludhiana product i'm very very grateful to cmc ludhiana because it has made me what i am today it has shaped me been responsible in my formative years and i'm i'm very grateful to all that i learned i want to propose to you a truth that god has a plan for each of your lives medicine is a profession but i would like to think of it more not just as a profession but as a passion i would like each of you to pay particular attention to your studies pay attention to your books it's particularly important for me because i am in a remote place and even though i did specialize and did some amount of uh, super specialization in a not in a formal way now in mission hospital being the only hospital here which is capable of surgery or even medicine uh, which is specialized i have to do a little bit of everything delivering babies now surgery also in different you know aspects so where did i get all this uh, experience from from my student days from my teachers because i attended the clinics it's something very simple as that many years later a patient will come and sit in front of you with a problem and you might just remember that you had seen the problem as a medical student the second thing is try and get your basics right because it's very difficult to get your basics right much later the last thing i'd like to say is that don't you keep your eye on the long goal i'd like to leave you with one verse it's from psalm 144 verse 1 it says he prepares my hands for battle and my fingers for war he's preparing each of you It's our job to do the best we can where we have been placed and where we are. Thank you. So, uh, thank you, sir, for your wonderful talk. And uh, we shall move to our next speaker. I would like to invite Dr. Robin Thamudurai. He is our alumnus. He is from the batch of 1986, and he is a general surgeon. He is trained from CMC Ludhiana, and then he went on to do specialization in upper GI and thoracic surgery. And presently, he is working as a senior consultant in the Tata Medical. Uh, center in kolkata so i welcome you, sir and i am very thankful that you were able to uh, spare your time from your busy schedule thank you abhilash like, thank you student council i thought that this pandemic has been with us now for so long so can any good come out of a pandemic so the short answer is nothing really but there's also a long answer hardships often prepare ordinary people for an extraordinary destiny That was said by C.S. Lewis. Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. And that was said by Mahatma Gandhi. Now, although this might be a unique time 
in the life of each one of us. I think it's appropriate that we take a small walk down memory lane and have a look at what went before us. And then here is a sanitation bottle, wearing a mask and spraying the environment with a disinfectant. In 1918 too, people didn't know how to wear masks. This baby had it right. He's got a, a badge that says, flu precaution, please do not kiss me. And here's a group of metropolitan London metropolitan policemen who are demonstrating exactly how a mask should be worn. So in conclusion, don't be disheartened. This has happened before and this will pass. Use your time to read and focus on self-development. He likes the Isaac Newton. Safety precautions are not really changed in our lives. All of them will stay safe. That's really the need of the hour. It is your reaction to adversity, not the adversity that it itself, that determines how your life story will develop. Again, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Robin, sir, for his message. I'm very excited to introduce the next speaker to you all. Uh, we have Dr. Karan Pramod, sir, with us. Currently, he's doing his uh, post-graduation in forensic medicine. So we are very happy to have you. Uh, the time is yours. Hi, good evening. Uh, I just wanted to share some of the few things that I believe in. I I am very thankful for uh, to Council 2020 for asking me to do this. You are all part of a medical college now. Understand that this is probably one of the biggest hurdles of your life you have already crossed. You are not even a part of the race that most of the people are running right now. You know, So you are in a situation where others would want to be. So I would say please cherish this moment, this life that has been given to you. Studies are an important part of your curriculum. You are scared of your future, you are scared of what you are getting into, you are scared of need and it is okay to be scared of whatever you are feeling right now. But to everyone, all the medical students, I want to say that if you don't know what you are fighting for, please don't fight for it. I have seen many students studying day and night, getting probably one of the best results in the country and then after that they don't know what subject do they want. So it's very important that you need to understand what you're fighting for. So this is the best part of medicine that has taught me or probably CMC Ludhiana has taught me that when I want to do something and if I put in all of my heart to it, I would get it. So this is this is a learning that CMC Ludhiana gave to me. So I would be, you know, I, I would want to congratulate all of you for being a part of CMC because that place is a lot more than just a medical college. Something uh, that I really believe in that is that if you take part actively or passively in whatever the negative the world wants you to give, you are not doing a good job to yourself. You're not being there for yourself. Okay? You're not helping yourself. You're helping everybody out there other than yourself. I believe that if you stay away from negativity, you can actually excel a lot in life. So uh, this 2020 pandemic has brought in a lot of creativity out there also. So I believe that's good. So do whatever you want to do and don't let the world tell you what not to do. In this quarantine that you have, either you're at home or either you're in a location that you don't want to be, you can make the best of it. You gotta breathe, okay? relax. Everything will be fine. If you cannot breathe, sing. Whatever voice comes out of your mouth, make that voice. Make your presence feel, you know. And then look at yourself in the mirror and then you see that you're alive, you're doing well. This is my family picture. Our parents could sacrifice so much for us. Why can't we do something for them and be there for them in these times? Although they might be busy, but those one or two or anything that you get with your family is more than enough. You all are doing well and I'm very happy to see you out. So be creative, go out there, you can do it, okay? So you can do whatever you want to do. So. Thank you so much for having me here and all the best to all the CMC family. Thank you so much, sir. We are really uh, happy that we got to hear from you, sir. And thank you so much for your kind words and your precious time. And very rightly said, sir, that we need to put our hearts into what we want. Yeah. Next in line, uh, we have two people. We have uh, Dr. Raj Pratik and Dr. Yorkin. They were the counsel for our batch. Uh, from the batch of 2014, they were our council president and uh, chief sec. It's a very special feeling that all of us have from the batch of 2017 to have them here. And uh, in that brief uh, two years, uh, we have admired them and we had a lot of good memories and uh, things that we learned from them. PMC is very excited to hear from you and uh, we are excited what your perspective and uh, message to us is. First of all, thanks a lot, Ashwin, for your wonderful, wonderful 
way in which I introduced her. This year has actually given me a lot of perspective regarding gratitude. We must be really be thankful to our parents, our God. You know, this is a time where we can actually progress in life. And if you feel that you're not able to study, give your best in these days. Do not give up. You know, I came across a very motivational quote that 1.01 to the square of 365 is equal to 37. You know, even if you give 10, 10 minutes a day, by the end of three months, you could have possibly completed one subject. So do not give up. If you're able to study one hour a day, just make it about your progress. Just think that I have to progress every day in life. Let it not be defined by your failures. As a medical student, this is the time where we understand our important role in the society. I would like you to just consider study, but do not consider it to be the paramount thing. There are many medical colleges where it's just about studies. I have been lucky to be in CMC. I see students from outside medical college and I can proudly tell everyone that in CMC, you guys are getting a very good order on development. CMC is a place where you can grow, where you can actually spread your wings in many ways possible. Be thankful for what you have. So let it not your marks define you. Let something else, how you are as a person, grow as a person this year and let academics be a part of it. And just one thing, constant progress guys. Just make sure that you are able to constantly progress. I hope all of you guys come out of this thing with flying colors and I just hope that you guys are really full of just gratitude for what you have in life. Thank you. Really awesome to see everybody here after so long and uh, we really miss the place. Right now is a good time for you guys to really start introspecting a bit and uh, thinking about the bigger questions in life. Why, why are you here? What are you, what are you doing? Why are you doing MD in the first place? And it may be too late to ask because you're already in it, but it's okay. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. And uh, sometimes it's just good to ask these questions. The standard answer would be like, I like biology and I like uh, medicine, so I wanted to go for it. Some people would say, I want to help people, and they were genuine about it. And those are good answers. But uh, now, as you grow further through your course in your second year and your third year, are those questions still relevant to you? Do they still hold true? Are those still things that you believe? You need to realize that uh, this is something of a burden that we have to carry so that we can help our fellow men. It's a, it's a beautiful blessing for most of us. It may seem like a burden, but uh, I don't think we should be disheartened by it. You guys have to really focus on why you're doing this. It's going to give you clarity on how you're going to help others in your society. Because the people in this world are struggling and they need us. They need help. And we have been blessed because Ludhiana is one of these places where all our professors take in like effort to put in all their effort into our classes. So be grateful for so many things in your life. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you so much Raj sir and the audience sir for taking out time for us. Uh, we learned a lot from your experiences and the advices you gave. Thank you so much. I would like to thank the administration and everyone involved in this meeting being successful. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope to see you soon the next time. Thank <laughs> you.